couple of things before we begin. I am freaking burning up, so if you hear me like hyperventilating, it's because it's really freaking stuffy in here. I don't know why. Uh, I need to wash my hair. I'm pretty disgusting. And uh, you're going to hear a noise in the background because my daughter's cooking. So yeah, this is for Leo or Leo Crosswatcher. You know what I heard before I started this? Also, you can reverse this entire message, by the way. For the group I'm picking up on today, I heard like a javelin. You know those long sticks you throw javelins? Like a javelin straight through their heart. Something is piercing someone. I'm talking, maybe some of you want a new piercing or you got a new piercing or you're loving your piercings. You want to change the piercing jewelry. Something to do with piercing. Confirmation. But also, um, something has pierced the shit out of someone. I'm going to say this is another person or it will pierce them if this hasn't happened yet. And it's something either you say or somebody says on behalf of you or something, but you're not wrong. And whoever is standing up for you is not wrong if it has to be like standing up for you. What this feels like to me is basically you or another person is going to be holding another individual accountable for their actions or lack thereof, right? So whatever someone has done or hasn't done, that should have done, this is where whatever you do, however you handle it, or whatever you say is going to, it's going to cut somebody. It's going to straight up, straight up cut them if it hasn't already. Guys, some of you, this has already happened. Some of you, this is currently happening, or it's going to happen in the near future. I'm going to give you an example. So now this could be, I think a lot of you, it's going to be in a, the love department, or it once was. It's hard to breathe. Maybe that's the point. Maybe it's hard for someone to breathe because they've been pierced fucking got it absolutely got it you know but they can't handle it why am I talking like that <laughs> let's just say I know a person who uh, I'm very close to who is a, an innocent little soul and basically begged for hours at a job they work will currently work at but not for long and just doing the most in a positive way like literally showing up begging literally when i say begging for hours guys like begging for hours begging for a, an equal opportunity like everyone else has had in this job they work at but has been not only blatantly disrespected but this this person that i know prefers to go by a specific name okay to me if somebody tells you they want to go by a specific name now i understand people make mistakes people like mess up but if somebody literally tells you what they want to be addressed as this goes for anything, okay? I don't give a fuck what it is. If you don't respect that, again, let me repeat myself, you can forget, people forget, you know what happens. Like honest mistakes, this is not an honest mistake. Something that is blatantly done, I have watched it against this person, just like super disrespect. Like what if this person, what if it was a gender identity thing and this person that I care for dearly asked to be called specific pronouns or something and some of you may say oh I don't give a shit about that well you know what that, that I'm not saying you have to but you should respect when somebody wants to be called something start like you know what I'm saying so but it has nothing to do with that this is just their name like literally their name they asked to be called by one of their names instead of their other name okay and this person that they work with like literally the boss intentionally disrespects them like to hurt their feelings knowing that they don't want to be called this other name that they have that to me is like, listen, like it's just super fucking disrespectful and it's like almost like very passive aggressive and like, so that's just an example, but there's so many other ways this can go about. Like in a love situation, somebody could have straight up just left you high and dry. Now listen, depending on who it is, maybe they didn't have to owe you anything, but they, I mean, they could have just done something, you know what I mean? Like something, especially if you guys had something between each other like children or a child but it could be anything you know what i mean like business wise y'all did business together or something and they just like took your money and didn't i don't know hold on all right resume <clears throat> You guys heard that? They haven't actually done that in a long time. That was not a mistake, okay? It was a cat, and I think of cats, I think of lions, and I think of Leo. And it was <clears throat> my girl cat. <clears throat> I'm out of breath, sorry guys. Some of you guys, unless it's reverse, felt backed in a motherfucking corner by somebody. That's exactly what my other cat did to her just now. <sighs> Confirmation, me itching. Where you had no choice but to defend yourself. If this is someone else taking up for you, I'm hearing Tanner, someone's going to defend your honor. 
Somebody is standing up for themselves here. They're throwing that javelin, and if somebody gets hurt, well, too bad, so sad. I mean, there's a time for everything, and there's about to be a time for war, you know? I feel like that you've been done dirty, you've been done wrong, even if just, like, blatantly disrespected. Or, like, whatever it is, okay? You felt backed into a corner, and you're going to attack. Or it's more so just defend yourself, vice versa. Somebody's going to be defending themselves against you or something, okay? So it can go a million different ways. I'm itching, like, bad now. It's not because my cats, because <clears throat> I didn't have to separate them necessarily, other than like lead one of them away. But uh, there was another example I just got. Still trying to catch my breath. Like that really came out of nowhere. That's honestly probably what's about to happen. But, you know, it could be like this. Like, let's say you guys don't hear from somebody that you would, it could be anyone, guys, it could be a best friend, it could be a family member, it could be a love interest or a lover. You don't hear anything from them or they don't really reach out. They don't check on you and see how you're doing. And then all of a sudden you hear from them and like something happens to you or something. It could be this small little thing. You get sick or something, you know, or somebody you love and they reach out to you and say something. You're like, or they post about it. Even worse, they post about it. And it's like, guys, pray for Leo here or something. And you're like, okay, first of all, if you're going to do that for fucking attention, like I'm going to snap on you now because you don't give two fucks about me. Where have you been this whole time, you know? Or it's like somebody who reaches out and says my condolences once the funeral's there, but like leading up to that, they never really helped kind of get you through it. You know what I mean? Like they just left you high and dry and then all of a sudden, oh, they pop back up out of fucking nowhere and it's like, wait, what the fuck, bro, sis? Like the fuck, you know what I mean? Or somebody wants to come around again and they're like, hey, how are you? Or, you know, happy birthday and it's like, Something you do, a way that you choose it, you may all out brawl, like my cats just did. She went under the couch too, so she was like backed into a corner, you know, or um, or you may just go silent on somebody. You may return the energy. Whatever they did to you is highly likely that you're going to reflect that energy back to them um, or something like that. This would definitely not be a message where somebody should be trying you during this time especially if they haven't been around or they did you fucking dirty or they just didn't care before this would not be the time because i really don't think you're going to handle it well and if this is not you at all i'm not i'm not saying it's not going to happen to you but if you're the one that don't really know how to react don't worry bitch somebody on the outside of you who loves you very dearly and i got leos in my life now you don't have to be a leo you can be anybody but that i would risk a lot for and uh, <laughs> you know what I mean like this energy I I relate to this energy and I'm getting it strongly today and I'm on the outside of it to where I'm like oh I would definitely like honey you won't even have to say nothing like I will happily be the bad guy or bad girl in this situation like I I don't even care how this ends like at this point because I have bit my tongue like I have bided my time I have stayed fucking silent. I have allowed shit to go on. I have just overlooked and stayed silent and turned the other cheek. Well, bitch, I'm tired of turning the other fucking cheek. There's a time for everything. I mean, you don't have to believe in it, but whoever does, even the Bible says that. And now's the time. Now's your time, right? Like somebody's saying that. I think you're going to snap on somebody or somebody's going to snap on someone on your behalf. I don't know why I'm laughing. I think just because, like, I mean, it's not, here's the thing. You know what really pisses me off is, like, when people say that you're overreacting or that someone around you is overreacting, when they pushed you to that limit, when they got you there, but you have been quiet. You know, it is a sign of intelligence to stay silent, to not be ag aggressive, to not, but it's also a sign of intelligence to let people know where the fuck you stand. And listen, if this is something that somebody's been doing and just thinking they can do, for an extended period of time. I'm not saying all out like lose your shit guys to where you like put, it depends on what somebody's done really. But for the majority of things, you know, maybe if you can handle it in a very calm manner, 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 Amanda, if you can handle it in a calm manner and not have to like completely lose your shit, but still get your fucking point across, which y'all are great at doing. Y'all whoever clicked on this video, 
don't, again, you don't have to be a Leo, but whoever here, y'all taking on that energy right now, or you will, it's like, look, I've held back and I'm not holding back anymore. I'm going to let that, uh, it's like protection, right? Like I feel like somebody, the reason someone's going to do something is because either they're protecting themselves, defending themselves, or they're defending another, which I feel like if it, if you're defending another here or somebody's coming to your, de you get what I'm saying? Defending you that's when it's going to get more aggressive. I feel like if it's somebody defending themselves, they may do something enough or be loud enough or however they handle it or you, that it will scare another. It will tell you, it'll be like a javelin straight through somebody's heart. It's going to fucking get the point across. But if it don't, then, then that's when it's going to be like, don't worry, I got this. That's cool. You know, maybe you're just waiting until, uh, uh, or maybe someone's just waiting until you quit the job. You know what I mean? Like I'm just waiting until you quit. I want to respect your space, you know, some of you, this is going to be over your children. I'm just going to tell you right now. It's going to be over your children where you're going to have to be like, you just sit down with God one night or whoever you believe in, you know, your creator and, you know, your spirit guides, your ancestors. And you're like, Hey, I know, you know what I'm about to do, right? So I'm going to need you to give me a little bit of restraint here, but, um, allow me a little leeway little uh, slack on this rope because I'm going and I know you know that right so uh, here hold my psych papers while I go handle this depending on what someone's done to you or somebody you love unless this is entirely reversed you know like I just really hope somebody understands that the reason that the situation is going to get I'm hearing escalate is going to escalate to what it's about to be is because of the negligence and because of the blatant disrespect that was it seemed very intentional and negligent is probably the big word here just negligent and <clears throat> absent-mindedness and just very uh, like I don't think you have anything to worry about like for standing up for someone or standing up for yourself I don't think there's anything wrong with that I'll just tell you that okay all right guys thank you for just within reason don't do anything too crazy like you don't want you know but again I'm saying that does depend on what somebody does because the other day I followed somebody straight like almost damn near to their county like I was maybe like a couple of minutes outside of their county and they were in front of me and I was backing off and then getting closer and backing off and I was memorizing every little tiny dent in their vehicle because I saw this person I've seen them more than one time I mentioned this in an Aquarius message you guys may want to watch that which is your opposite and I saw this person I caught them watching these kids not mine oh can you imagine if it was mine I would have lost my fucking shit I'd probably be in jail right now you guys would be like, where'd she go? Did she quit? Did she quit? You did? What happened to her? And then I come back later on a resurface and I'm like, about that. You guys, yeah, had a little dark night of the soul. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sad about it. Either way, like, it just depends on what they do, right? Like, and I saw this guy and he was just staring at these kids. Like, and he didn't, like, I guess he didn't think I was good because it was nighttime. And he didn't think I was going to come out. I guess he just wasn't like, what? are you thinking bro like I don't want to get into it too much because it's going to start getting me really upset and really heated again because like I know I'm gonna see him again well I don't know because I probably scared the shit out of him and I'm thinking oh look look at that right there look at that right there and I'm talking like guys this was very obvious this guy because it's not also the first time I've seen him do it but this time was the worst and he got far enough away that he could like watch these kids okay and the only reason he had to turn was because I got behind him yeah, that type of shit right there. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? The only, the it depends on what somebody does on why you are going to hand someone their fucking ass, okay? But all right, guys, thank you for being here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.